If you're ready to get a puppy and you're wondering if the West Highland White Terrier is the dog for you, here are five reasons why you should consider one. What makes Westies so special? Is it their unconditional love and loyalty for their favorite human? Their independent and a little goofy nature? Or is it because they're the only dog breed considered a big dog in a small dog's body? Whatever it is that makes these little guys so special, the fact is that anyone who's ever had a Westie Terrier will tell you this. Once you have one, you won't be able to imagine life without them. I'm Miruna, this is Sami, he's my five-year-old Westie, and today we're gonna talk about the top five reasons why you should get a Westie. Reason number one. Westies are possibly the friendliest of all terriers. They are easygoing and they enjoy meeting new people. I always joke that Sami is an extroverted dog, which is sometimes a challenge for an introvert like me. He'll literally say hi to anyone we cross paths with. He loves being around people and he thrives whenever he gets attention, even from strangers on the street. He especially has a thing for women. Whenever we pass a woman on the street, he lets his ears down and wags his tail with excitement, waiting to be acknowledged. This is one reason why Westies are so precious, because they instantly connect with anyone. It's happened to me more than once to walk Sami on a day when my energy was low and I really wasn't in the mood to talk to anyone, and my dog is such a magnet for people, so of course he shamelessly asked someone on the street for attention, which led up to a conversation and essentially making a new friend. For this reason, I think a Westie will be an easy fit into your life because you'll be able to take your Westie with you anywhere and they'll be happy as long as they're among people. Number 2. Westies are very good at communicating their needs. Once Sami turned into an adult, he started to be very good at explaining things to us. Like, he has a specific bark for different things, like if there's a dog on the other side of the road, it might be a low bark or growl. If it's something that he doesn't understand and it makes him anxious, there might be a sharp, loud bark. He did that once when he saw a drone flying above us and it was just crazy. If he's extremely uncomfortable physically, and this happened exactly three times in his life, he will let out a long howl. I don't know if Westies tend to be howlers. Sami almost never does, except if he's in some kind of physical pain. Once when he was a puppy, he howled because a female dog was in heat in our neighborhood, and it was the first time that this was happening to him and he didn't know how to handle it so he ended up howling all night long. Another thing is he always announces us when it's meal time and he has a very clear way of communicating that. Like if I forget his meal time, well first he'll stare at me. Then he'll paw at me for about 10 minutes and follow me everywhere. And if I still don't seem to get the point, he'll let out some mumbles like he's scolding me. <laughs> that is to say, the dogs know exactly when mealtime is and they won't let us get away with it. Sami even gives me a heads up 5 minutes before 7 p.m. so I have time to prepare it. How thoughtful is that? I wish I was kidding, but he must have an internal clock or something because he always knows. He's even strict about when it's time to go to bed. Sometimes on weekends we stay up late watching a movie and suddenly I realize that Sami is nowhere to be found. Turns out he sneaked out to the bedroom at some point, nobody knows when, and he's now fast asleep in his bed, probably belly up, because that's his favorite sleeping position. We always laugh at his grandpa schedule, because when the clock turns 11 at most, he's off to bed. It's non-negotiable. 
Before we go on to our next points, don't forget to like and share this video with others if you enjoy our content. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when we post a new video. Each time you like and share our video, it helps our channel grow, so we really appreciate it. Sami says thank you. 3. Westies are relatively clean dogs. At least when I say this, I'm thinking of Sami, who isn't a fan of mud, water and rolling in poop. I guess these are personal preferences and you can never generalize, but even if your Westie loves all these things, I'd still say Westies are easy enough to keep clean, despite being white. It's enough brushing them with a fine brush or a comb and the dirt tends to fall off their coat. You can also use wet wipes to clean them after walks and in between baths. Also, Westies don't tend to smell, they don't shed much and they don't drool at all. Which makes them the perfect dogs for people who want to keep a clean home with minimum effort. Let me know in the comments if you agree with me or not. Also, did I mention Westies are hypoallergenic? Bonus points for that! 4. Westies adapt easily to any living conditions. The Westie is a perfect dog for apartment living, but they can also thrive in a home with lots of outdoor space and squirrels to chase if you've got any. Since we've had Sami, we lived in both an apartment as well as a home with a yard. I can say that Sami was probably happier spending more time outdoors, but since we moved into an apartment, he gets more walks than before, which he enjoys a lot. So regardless of your living situation, whether you live in an urban setting or in a place surrounded by nature, you should know that a Westie will find joy in pretty much any environment. In our case, we travel with Sami a lot and he's the easiest dog to take on road trips, plane rides and even sailing on boats. It's true, we got him used to traveling since he was a puppy so it became something normal for him. But he also enjoys being in new places and discovering new smells, meeting new people and having different experiences. As long as he's with us, he's quite relaxed and excited to try new things. I'm not saying that goes for all Westies, every dog is obviously different and not all dogs enjoy the same things, just like us humans. But if you have an active lifestyle and you travel a lot, you can definitely do that with your Westie. As long as you get them used to these things as early as possible in their life, they will adapt to anything. 5. Westies are also good for families with children. Westies usually love kids and they tend to get excited whenever they meet a child. Especially when they're puppies, Sami used to explode with happiness every time we met children and he loved being pet by them. As he aged, his enthusiasm faded a little. He's still happy to interact and play with kids, but in smaller doses, because he gets bored quickly now. But he still played every day with our five-year-old godson when we went on vacation together and in the mornings, Sami was so excited to wake up and run to the kid and lick his face to say good morning. So Westies are great family dogs. If you have a big family or you're planning to have kids, a Westie would be more than happy to join in the fun. And these are my top five reasons why you should consider bringing a Westie into your home and your life. Did I convince you or do I need to make a part two? Westie parents, let me know in the comments if you agree with me. I'm really curious to hear what you think. And if you haven't had enough of Westies yet, go watch this video next.